Okay, this is a quick video. Um, okay, albeit it runs 10 minutes of how we constructed the um, wooden grow bed. There's a couple of little bits of footage that that are missing because maybe we didn't turn the camera back on after having a cup of coffee or whatever. What John's doing there is he's cutting up some six by two. I think in America you referred to it as two by six. But we we, we have our numbers back to the front in, in comparison to, to people in America. But here it's actually 200 mil by 50 mil. And, and, the, and the two pieces that he's cutting there are the end sections and they are designed and cut to, to length to fit just inside the side sections so that at, in the, at the end result oops, the soil falls over so as the end result comes out that the time you put your sides on you're actually left with a um, grow bed that's 2.4 metres by 1.2 metres or 8 feet by 4, four feet getting a little bit tongue-tied here um, I'm just going to point out there's a, there's a pond in the background some of you may notice that's where our ducks go in and swim and poop and do all that sort of stuff that ducks do that's my good lady wife Joanne um, yeah and what John's picked up on and we, we we'd actually tried something a few months ago we'd fed duck poop water just like you would in an aquaponic system with uh, fish poop fish nutri uh, fish waste um, and this duck waste is actually amazing how it um, causes plants to grow probably works the same way as like on the side of any any stream or river you see but um, we, we put it in we put lettuces and um, peas and a few other things uh, pak choy and strawberries and everything just went absolutely crazy so John has been telling us the guys a few of the guys he knows and these guys have been trying to get as much of that duck water as they possibly can as long as they don't go and empty my pond I don't, I don't really care but it, it actually seems to be as efficient as um, seaweed solution at this point John's screwing the baseboard down to the rails you notice he's worked with it upside down so we can get it all nice and square Big chunky screws going into it because you want it to stay there permanently you don't want it dropping off there's quite a bit of weight in one of these beds when you when you stop and work it out every gallon of water weighs 10 pounds there'll be a few gallons of water on it plus the weight of the uh, moist bags as they wick so you can imagine um, 20 bags in there um, for the potting mix each at which are all sort of moist for the, because they're wicking up um, I'm going to do another video in the, in the next few days of how to assemble a grow bag how to put it together and um, not to put the bag together because the bag's come already made but um, it's about packing the soil in and putting the plants in it and then putting the wood chip around the side but yeah th this, is, this is just this wooden grow bed I don't know how many people want to go to this size when you're looking at at possibly um, 20, 20 bags in here so if you work it out you've got six sweet corn in each bag or tomatoes I know you can get two or three lettuces in each bag but this bed is designed in such a way that it can be turned into a um, a um, floating raft um, or deep water culture so that when we take if we want to take the bags out at any time I can put a sheet of polystyrene in there drill a series of holes in the polystyrene and just drop net cups through it and the um, then put perlite in the net cups and the plants grow quite well actually it's quite efficient way of growing lettuces particularly um, if you if you lay you drill your holes in nice even patterns you can actually get quite a few lettuces in there and any green leafy vegetable will grow on it cabbages but I gotta say I prefer the flavour of the um, soil over the um, deep water culture. Some some things become a little bit bitter and the tarty in the in the in the taste with deep water you're just doing purely aquaponics on that. Um, this is the lower rib that goes on. Um, I'm missing some of the footage here of John actually de screwing down through these into the rails which actually just locks everything together so it, when we get to the end you're going to find that below 
it doesn't appear that we screwed it down. Also, I'm missing that where we drill the hole through the end, uh, through the ply to fit the water outlet in. Um, we will be doing some more videos on building these, which we'll try and get them in their entirety. Be a little bit better planned. And if you notice that, he's, he's had to do pieces, pieces of timber. There's an old, old saying, measure twice, cut once. And uh, unfortunately, John didn't measure twice and then have to cut once because what he's done, he's got two pieces that are slightly <laughs> short and had to overlap them. But they will still be just as strong. But there is a, theoretically, uh, what I want to see in future, not in theory, in practice, I'm going to have them there. Um, there should be a rail between that centre one and each of the end ones, just to bear the weight a bit, bit more. Um, 10 pounds of water, one gallon of water equals 10 pounds in weight. And I, I'm not sure what volume of water will be in there, I probably can calculate it out, out but... Um, there's actually, running in the bottom of this bed at any one time, there's going to be 50 mil of water spread over that area. Some clever person will probably leave me a comment, but um, yeah, you've got 50 mil of water, which is roughly two inches sitting right across the entire bed. Then you've got all the bags in there, which are full of potting mix, which are wicking up out of that water. Or, your, or any other solutions, you, nutrient solutions you've placed in the water. This whole cycling, because there are issues with um, mosquitoes here in Queensland, but there's also a product I've seen on um, the internet called Mosquito Dunks, which you can purchase. If you drop the Mosquito Dunks in the water, they kill the mosquitoes and um, destroy the larvae. But there's also a cycle which that if you drain your water in your um, kitty pool system every seven days, you'll just break the cycle of the mosquito. And all you got to do is every seven days drain your water, lift your bags out, tip the water out, or you put a little plug in your in your kitty pool, drain that water out, put your bags in, and um, bring your water level back up to two inches. But this is this was always one of the issues that I've had with um, wicking. I, I always wanted the to retrieve my water and have it cycling. So I've gone a little bit different to most people. Um, I don't know why <laughs> John thought a gang nail was going to work there. We're not building trusses. Anyway, we'll get rid of it shortly. And get some fancy little bracket and it on the corner just to hold the corners nice and steady until we get the stabilizing screws in place which unfortunately I don't have the footage of it. We stopped for a cup of coffee at one stage and we probably forgot to turn the camera on at that point. But anyway, we will we will bring all that to you in good in, in good time. Yeah, just quickly getting back to this thing about the duck water. A couple of guys that John knows, he's been giving it to them. One of them is actually a landscape gardener and um, he's absolutely amazed that the the way plants are starting to take off and even in the ground, all he does is he just tips it over and plants on the ground. So obviously something in, um, I can't tell you what trace elements or, or anything that's in, the, in duck water, in duck waste, but um, whatever it is, is working. And as I say, I couldn't believe the growth on the lettuces, peas. The peas just went like crazy. And... Um, Strawberries, anything that we could drop into a net cup, we just dropped it in there and just let them sit. I hope I'm not boring you all to tears. It's a bit difficult to get a, give a running commentary for 10 minutes on um, John running around around circles on this job. Okay, here we go, just going to tear that gang nail off there. Oh, that's my wonderful dog, Buck. Okay, here we go, we look at the inside of it. You can see the depth. That's exactly six inches deep. I'm just going to mark the centre to, to screw that um, centre rail in place from the top. Inside there we put a polypropylene pond liner which is food grade 
And in this polypropylene, is 90% of it. I've never seen any polypropylene product that's not food grade. Polypropylene is basically um, recycled milk bottles, which is the same as what you get in a um, grow bag.